all that's left to do is try these bad boys. I'm gonna try the one that I made for Jesus first. going on y'all I'm making a quick stop at Foot Locker I bought Grayson some sneakers the other day and they don't fit him his fat little foot wouldn't go into the NMD Adidas the same ones that I got but in black so I have to return them and try to see if they have something else because right now options are limited stores are not really open you know all we really have right now is Foot Locker so let's see if they have some more options today All right, I ended up getting those ones for Grayson. That's pretty much all they had right now. And none of the other sneaker stores that we like to go to are open. Actually, there was another sneaker store here, but that closed down, I'm assuming, is because of the pandemic, which is really unfortunate because I like that store. I used to get all his little shoes there. Anyways, now I'm off to find Jesus. I think he left a lot. Another quick look at the shoes that we bought him, red, black, and white ones. You cannot go wrong with these ever. I love the ones. I can't believe how big my son's foot is already. Now that we got those sneakers out the way, we're gonna get some lunch, and then we're gonna make it a park day. You're wondering what we're gonna eat, we're gonna have some Chinese food. Moments later. So it's gonna be about 10 minutes before the food is ready. I got some chicken wings with shrimp fried rice, $2 extra shrimp. Kim got some General So chicken with some, what else you got with it? Shrimp fried rice. And I also got four waters because it's like 92 degrees out here. I think the food is ready. Yes. Sauce. Yeah, sauce. So, so duck sauce, soy sauce, and extra hot sauce. You ready to munch, baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Us New Yorkers know good Chinese food, and this is good. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. You've got to have it with the hot sauce. I like me some hood food. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I'm making a freaking mess over here. We'll see you guys in a second. Moments later. An ice cream truck? First we go to the park. Ice cream truck later. Did you hear? Um, to ice? I hope the park is not too packed. It's usually a good idea to come out early in the morning, around eight o'clock, seven o'clock, let them burn out for two, three hours, then come back home because it gets really packed inside of these parks. Especially now that the summer's leaving and the fall is coming. You ready, babe? Okay, if I bust my behind, don't laugh and don't make a meme. You stretch out, you get closer. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dizzy, Grayson. Oh. Grayson loves this park. We love coming to this area because it's a good park. It doesn't get rowdy, it doesn't get too crowded, and it has a water sprinkler, which is great because not every park in New York City has one. So we're just letting him have his fun right now and then we're gonna go because there's a thunderstorm coming and I can already see the cloud above us, which is not a good sign. I don't wanna get caught out in the rain. And getting caught in the rain is just gonna get me bit even more. Just look at that. Oh, I have mosquito bites everywhere. Good job. One more time, one more time. No, no, no. Great job. Okay, it's time to go home. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Come on. We gotta get out of here. Come on, let's go home. Let's go home. This kid loves the park. He doesn't want to leave the park. Unless I bribe him, of course, with a little bit of ice cream. Do you have sprinkles, please? Just one vanilla ice cream. I wish I can show you guys my legs right now, but they have so many mosquito bites on them mosquito that it bites. looks 
scary. Anyways, we had a great park day and I'm glad that he was able to get some ice cream because it's almost the end of summer. I used to always get a little ice cream cone when the ice cream truck would stop and so that's why we do it for him. Just his little memories. And plus, the ice cream truck's not gonna come around in the fall and winter. I mean, sometimes in the fall you'll see them pass by when it's like a really nice day. But for the most part, they're gone towards the end of summer and then we're gonna have to wait till next year. And he loves his vanilla with sprinkles on a cone. Vanilla sprinkles. Grayson, did you have fun? Yes, I love fun. Riders of the storm, into the house of war. Okay, there's a hurricane or something coming because the wind just went out of control. People were just running for their lives. And if you guys can see, the sky looks so scary. It's lightning. It's yeah. lightning, yeah. But there were people running home right now, out of nowhere. It was just sunny and the clouds came out of nowhere and then the wind started getting strong. It was pretty scary. So. That looks like a, like a twister is forming, you see it? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't look like much on camera from what I can see. If worse come to worse, a crazy disaster happens, we're just gonna hide in my brother's shop. There it goes. Rain is coming down now. Gotta be careful with the trees. That's the most dangerous. The flood. Branches are already falling. We're at the corner of my brother-in-law's shop now. This is the closest place we could run for cover. Let's see if it's packed in there. We made it. Oh my God, it's coming down. It's coming down. We made it, Manuel. <laughs> you don't understand how crazy they got out there right now. My brother doesn't stop working. Whether it's rain, sleet, hail, snow, he doesn't stop. But real quick, I want to show you guys one of my favorite cars that I used to fall in love with every time I saw it on the streets. This is the 2012 BMW GT. Just take a look at it. Granted, it's really dirty right now, but it is an amazing car. I think the rain slowed down a little bit. Let me show you guys this other beautiful car in here. My brother has, he just finished fixing. Look at the interior. I'm not a big, big fan of the interior, but I am a fan of BMW. So this is a 2020 330i, beautiful car as well. It smells good in here. My brother fixed the side airbags on this, some brakes and some other issues that it had. It's good to run now and I think it needs a car wash because this thing is dusty. That's what the inside looks like. Before it starts raining again, give you guys an outside look real quick. By the way, my brother also sells cars here. He comes across cars like this and even cars like this. Let me show you something else that my brother does around here that you probably don't know. He's not just a mechanic, he's also an electrician as well, like my other brother. But let me get in here real quick, let me show you something. First, he upgraded it with his radio, which I think sounds and looks great. But the coolest part right here is this door. I know you're like, what are you talking about? This used to have a manual handle to bring down the windows, but my brother went ahead and made them electric. First, he installed an alarm. Then these two switches right here. This is for the front and this is for the back window. On the right side, you got the front button and the back button for the windows. And also, this car, you had to lock it manually. But he went ahead and put some power locks on them. So let's test out the windows. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't know if you're interested in what this is, but these are the modules to control everything that I just showed you. But yeah, my brother Manuel, he's a jack of all trades, just like my brother Mike. They both could do it all. So if you have an old car that you want to upgrade with things like that, like I said, give my brother a call. The storm stopped. I guess it's safe to head back home now. Just finished chopping up with my brother. I was speaking to him for like two hours, right? Yeah, and I fell asleep in the car. <laughs> like always. He came to say hi and Jesus said I was like that. Not that. He was like, Kim. I was like, oh. <laughs> I look in the window, she's like, yeah. I was so tired. The thing Dreaming. Was, you know how the rain is. It gets you sleepy and just hearing it hit the window, knocked me out cold. <laughs> but that was a good nap. I'm not sure if you can see, but Grayson's sleeping back there. Yeah. We're about to hit the road, Jack. We're heading back home now. Yeah. 
you know what Meza Mob? today is too hot it's way too humid so i have to make sure that tonight's dinner is at least 20 minutes or less i thought about it i'm gonna just make some fish tacos and since you guys haven't cooked with me for a while we're gonna make them together these are gonna be delicious and easy which is the best part first things first we're gonna need our ingredients oh can't forget the fish oh yeah those are gonna be good now for this dish you're gonna want to use any type of white fish that's available to you i was only able to get tilapia at my seafood market but you can use mahi mahi you can use codfish whatever white fish is available to you and that's what's going to be best for frying so i got three big old pieces of tilapia i'm gonna set these aside and you know in this kitchen we always wear gloves that's better got my fish on my board now before i season it you're gonna want to pat it dry take your napkins and just start getting as much of that water off as possible. One side down. Now for today's seasonings, I'm gonna be using Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. I love this stuff. I'm also gonna be using the Mrs. Dash Fiesta lime. This is a first for me. I've never actually used this before, but I feel like it'll pair really well with the fish. So we're gonna give that a try. And then we're gonna add some pink Himalayan salt because both of those seasonings are salt free. So you need a little bit of that in there. Now that both sides of the fish are seasoned, I'm gonna start chopping them up. The pieces don't have to be perfect, but you don't wanna cut them too big and you don't wanna cut them too small. You kind of wanna keep them the same size because you want them to cook at the same time. You don't wanna have certain pieces that are taking longer than others to cook. So try to get them to the same size, although they don't have to be perfect. Now we're gonna slide this to the side and we're gonna get started on our batter. First thing you're gonna need is some all-purpose flour. Now, for anybody who's interested in making these, I'll go ahead and link all the details and all the ingredients down in the description box to make life easier for you guys. But you're gonna need the all-purpose flour. Now, because I have a lot of fish, I ended up using two cups of flour, but you can cut the recipe in half if it's for less people, if it's just for yourself. But to that, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. Now you're gonna wanna season up the batter as well cause otherwise it'll be kind of bland. So I'm gonna take the same thing that I seasoned the fish with and add just a little bit into this. Now for the wet ingredients, this will be the part where you would add some beer to the batter. You can use Modelo, whatever type of beer that you'd like. But if you wanna make it like I do and use a non-alcoholic beverage, you can just go ahead and use some mineral water. I'm just gonna add some Pellegrino to it. But whatever it is that you're using, just make sure that the batter is very thick so that it could stick to your fish. If you make it runny, obviously it's not gonna stick to your fish well. So we're just gonna add a little at a time. This is the consistency that you're looking for. It's not too runny, but it's also not way too thick. It's perfect. If you're wondering what the beer does to the batter, it basically gives it body, but it also makes it light and airy when you fry it. And the mineral water does the same thing due to the bubbles. So we're gonna heat up our oil. It should be between 350 to 360 degrees. That's the perfect temperature for frying. And then we're gonna batter our fish, throw them in there, and it's just gonna be so delicious when it's done. So let's get that oil hot.
All right, so I'm gonna assemble these tacos in two different ways. I'm gonna show you how Jesus likes his, and then I'm gonna do it how I like mine. First, I'm gonna do his. Basically, what you're gonna do, take the fish, slice it up. He doesn't like cabbage, and I know a lot of people like to put like a cabbage slaw on top of their fish tacos. So I'm just gonna put some lettuce, cause he's very simple. Put the fish on top, slice some avocado. Beautiful. Now this is for my taco. And by the way, look at that fish. Perfectly cooked, nice and white on the inside, crispy on the outside. So good, can't wait to dig into that. To top this off, I'm gonna be using the mango jicama slaw from Trader Joe's. This is really good, and the dressing that it comes with is really spicy, so I like that. I'm gonna put that on top of my taco, and then I'm just gonna slice some aguacate right on top of that. The last thing I'm gonna top this taco off with is this little concoction that I made. It's basically sour cream. I put some cilantro in there. I put some lime juice. And I also threw a serrano chile in there. So I'm gonna top it off just like that. And voila, two tacos de fish. All that's left to do is try these bad boys. I'm gonna try the one that I made for Jesus first. Mmm. This is delicious, you get the creaminess and a little bit of spice from that sour cream mixture that I made. So good, like I told you guys, the fish is nice and crispy, nice and juicy on the inside. That's a delicious taco right there. And then this one is mine. Oh yeah. That one is just as good. It's a little sweeter because the mango jicama slaw has mango slices in it, but the sauce that it comes with is so good. It has that kick to it, but it's not too spicy to the point where you can't tolerate it. And it gives the taco that extra oomph that I just love. So if you guys give these tacos a try, let me know. Let me know how you like them. Remember, you can always spruce up your tacos however you like them. It's basically just showing you how I fry the fish. And also, a lot of you guys have been asking me if I like my air fryer ever since I got it. I'm gonna tell you, I've probably used it every single day I love it so much and now that I have it I don't know how I lived without it so stay tuned for some recipes using that in the future but for now I'm gonna finish these tacos and we'll catch you guys in the next video mm. Yo, baby, how you gonna do it, baby? Everybody get the monkey down on the ground right now.